We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, God. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
and let us pray. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me from the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. And as yet, the earth and fields were not made, not the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. And when he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit so that the water should not transgress his command, then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surfaces of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. From the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast our afflictions knowing that our afflictions produce endurance, and endurance, proving character, and proving character, hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. 
The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own. But he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Holy Trinity Sunday. The tri in Trinity means three. Same as triangle. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God, three persons, Trinity. So that leads to one of the more specific things that we say regarding God. Because for all the things about God that are beyond our comprehension or our ability to describe... We do say one thing very, very concretely, that even within God himself is a dynamic love. That is to say, even before the creation of the cosmos, there was this interplay between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that means that when we say God is love, which is true, we're not talking about something passive or static, but rather real love, divine love, Trinitarian love is dynamic. It is in motion. It's an action. It's a verb. In the gospel today, we heard about the spirit of truth, you know, the Holy Spirit. And this is hugely important for us as Catholics, because this means that the love of God is invariably tied to the spirit of truth. In order for something to be kind and loving and good, it must also be true. That is so important because if we let go of truth as if that's not important, the loss of love will come very shortly after that. And if you don't have love or truth, what's left? We've got to be on our guard about this. We really do. There is, a, there is a lie, a big lie, going around in mainstream society. It's told and retold every day. It's essentially said in one of two ways, but it's basically the same lie. One, in order to love someone, you have to accept and approve of all their behavior and decisions without exception. Or two, If you disagree with someone's behavior or decisions, well, then you hate them or fear them. When we say it plainly like that, the error is obvious. In both of those statements, truth is not a factor. There is no room for informed concern or disagreement. And and we have to be better than that. We have to know better than that. Sometimes the bravest act of love that you can do is to respectfully express your concern for something that will ultimately prove to be sinful, harmful, or illusionary. That is love. God is love. 
And the mission of the church is built on a foundation of love, and no one, absolutely no one, deserves to be unloved in life. But at the same time, that real love, that divine love, that Trinitarian love, must always and ever be tied to the spirit of truth. If something really is kind and beautiful and good and loving, it must also be true. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And brothers and sisters, let us offer our prayers for all of those in need as one community of faith. For the church, that we may be attentive to the Holy Spirit who guides us all to truth and follow that guidance as we work to build unity in the church and in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those preparing for marriage and for all married couples, that their love for each other may reflect the divine love of Father, Son, and Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for those who farm or fish for a living, and all who work on land and sea, that they may be blessed with good weather as they seek to provide sustenance to a hungry world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the sick, especially among our viewers and listeners, that the Holy Trinity's unending love and mercy will bring hope and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they live forever with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of South Carolina and Maine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we ask that you hear all these prayers. And in the same spirit of Trinitarian love, may we always reflect that love in our relationships with one another as we seek to make the world a better and holier place through your grace through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. 
for what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with your spirit. and let us offer one another a sign of peace, and we especially welcome that sign of peace to those viewing at home today. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.
offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.